things we have to know. There are some things that sometimes just gets to you and then you have to talk about it. Like what we need here on earth and what is needed in our life spiritually. First, of all our earthly existence is just that we are spiritual beings living in earthly existence. Within this earthly existence we need some things on a daily basis. We need food, new clothes and clean clothes daily, a safe place to sleep, a job to make money to buy the things we need. We need transportation to get to work in other places we need to go. We need to furnish our home to our liking and the many things that is needed, everything within your home that makes life easier to deal with from day to day. Then if we want to get married then we will need a good size home to provide a place for your spouse and children. Second, our spiritual needs are there and we seek to find some truth within the world we cannot see but feel. We know we are missing something for there is an empty spot that we seem to not fill no matter what we do from day to day. We just know that there is something we are missing and some of us it seems that we will never find out what that is. Then one day we hear someone talking about why Jesus came here to tell us that we are spiritual beings living an earthly existence and Jesus seems to be the only one that can show you the way back to heaven that was always there but never told about. So when Jesus starts talking about his spiritual father in heaven we tend to listen to what he has to say. Then he talks about the way to get saved which is how to have the indwelling spirit of God come and live within us. We call salvation which means to survive death when we do die. Once we get saved our soul becomes immortal. Our body like Jesus' body was not holy means to never do anything wrong or divine means to have a body that is immortal and just like everyone's earthly body will die when we get old. Is what we do from day to day leads us to understand many things about this world we live in and the many things people will do for money. No matter what the job we can do to make the money that is needed from day to day we have to do to provide the many things that is needed from day to day. Even though some will not approve of the job we do because they might not believe that no one should do that job and even still go to church. We tend to judge others for how they have chosen to live their lives. It is not our job to judge anyone our job is once we get saved we teach others to get others saved. Then we have to let God do his job to change them from within so they will follow the teachings of Jesus just as we do. But for some it takes a while for some to change. Once saved each one of us will be on a different journey within our spiritual life. One point, so once we get saved and our journey leads to learning about how to teach others to how to get saved and then teach others and then let God do his job of changing them from within. We have to understand and keep our life here on earth and our spiritual life separate and then we can understand that we cannot tell others what is right and what is wrong with their lives. Our job is get them saved and then let God do his job to change them from within and then we can do our job within this world of getting them saved. We have to follow man's laws so we can do God's work within this world for if we do not then how can you do God's work if you are in jail? No matter how bad sometimes man's laws are we still have to follow them so we can teach and preach salvation to everyone here on earth. What we do wrong here on earth we will pay with our money or our body. What we do spiritually we will pay with our immortality will we have it or not when we die. The war in heaven was a war over immortality will they be able to keep their immortality or cease to exist. So remember one thing no matter if you remember any of this is that no matter what you do within your life the only thing that counts is to get saved do when you get to heaven God will say to you when you stand in front of God, thou good and faithful servant I have a job for you do and send you to do that job within heaven right now. Our job is get them saved and then let God do his job of changing them from within. Last point. We have to understand and keep our life here on earth and our spiritual life separate and then we can understand that we cannot tell others what is right and what is wrong with their lives. Our job is get them saved and then let God do his job to change them from within and then we can do our job within this world of getting them saved. MJR